Eric, yeah, there is the most recent data that shows African Americans here in the city of Spokane are up to five times more likely to be arrested than whites, for example. So I looked into that data specifically, and here's what I found. This is from the SPD's own use of force report from 2018. It shows that in both 2017 and 2018, about 10% of the department's total arrests were of black subjects. That's 677 African Americans arrested in 2017 and slightly up the next year to 712 African Americans arrested in 2018. And the reason this is so significant is because Spokane's population is only about 2% African American. That's compared to 77 or 78 percent of whites arrested, which is lower than Spokane's population, which is about 85 percent white. So I took those numbers to SPD today. I'm told the chief is concerned about it and they're tackling it in a number of ways. First off is just digging deeper to figure out exactly what's going on. And part of that is understanding when and how often use of force is being used and who it's being used on. Now, in this case, in 2018 of the 712 arrests of African Americans, officers resorted to use of force 15 times, which amounts to about 2%. You compare that to about 1.5% of whites being arrested. Number two, is it officer initiated contact or was it calls for service? Now that's important because the department wants to know, are certain officers actually arresting blacks more often? And their system absolutely does look for that. Officers with high numbers of anything do get flagged for further review, but also is the community calling the police on African Americans more often? And in this case, you can see that in 2018, four of the 15 instances of use of force were where the officer initiated contact with someone. The other 11 came from an outside call from someone else for an officer to respond. So that just provides a little more context to the overall numbers. Hands out to your side, do it now! And finally, all of this can be improved with the right training. Right now, SPD is in the process of in-service training for all of its officers. The department says it's especially timely right now because they'll be looking at what happened with George Floyd in Minneapolis to apply those lessons learned here in Spokane. Implicit bias training is also ongoing where it acknowledges that we all have biases based on our life experiences. And this training just teaches officers how to acknowledge those and then make sure they're not letting those preconceived notions dictate their actions out in the field. And those trainings are mandatory for all SPD officers. So obviously this is a very complex issue, but in talking to the Spokane Police Department today, they said they are absolutely committed to improving these numbers and to finding solutions now more than ever.